Records, Casper Electronics. Uh, I'm going to be at the Circuit Bending Festival this weekend at the Tank. Um, and I brought some stuff down uh, to show you, a couple pieces that will be at the festival if you want to see them in person. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to show you a little bit about uh, you know, how this stuff works and what Circuit Bending is. Um, so basically, uh, Circuit Bending is just the process of um, you're sort of exploiting malfunctions sort of favorable malfunctions within simple digital circuitry, a lot of times kids' toys. And the basic practice or uh, you know, principle here is that you just you connect points together. You're just making short circuits within the circuitry. And the cool part is that a lot of the time, it actually, the results are really interesting um, and you know, creatively useful. So you can, you know, they're musically uh, intriguing. Um, so that's what I've done here. I've got a few pieces here. I did a bunch of different uh, bends in them. Um, and I think the results are really, are really uh, in, in, engaging. Um, so this is one piece that I really like quite a bit. Uh, this is a Casio keyboard, it's the MT240. And I've added this whole panel here, and these are all just ways of uh, short-circuiting points in the circuit board. So all of these points here, this is a patch bay, and when you connect these points together, you're just connecting points together in the circuit board. There's nothing more complicated than that going on. So you can hear, let's have, here's the drum beat. And I'm gonna throw this switch and it's gonna connect points together. And you can hear the effects are unusual. Um, so here's a different point for the demo bit. And there is just hundreds of different combinations and different kinds of effects that can be generated. Um, and I would love to show this at more length uh, if you come down to the event test. Um, so here's another piece, and this is a really popular one. Um, this is a speak and spell. Uh, this was made like 20 years ago. It was a learning toy. And what's sort of special about this is that it has a speech synthesizer in it. Um, so it doesn't actually have samples in it. It has, uh, uh, you know, complex circuitry which generates synthetic speech. So it's a really complicated, uh, complex sound synthesizer. And when you bend it, it does a lot of really unusual things. So here's, let's see, you get these sort of RD, R2D2 effects. Um, you can get other kinds of effects like these loops and pitch changes and there's just a large variety of different kinds of things that can be done with these and there's uh, tutorials online. Um, and if you come down to the VentFest you can learn how to do this on your own. I'd be happy to show you how it's done uh, on Saturday. There's a workshop uh, so I hope to see you there.